I am so proud of our student body. They continue to excel and defy the odds. But the demand of success and modern day stressors can cause distress and fatigue. So we must talk about mental health and wellness. Nationwide, colleges report an alarming trend in rising stress levels among young learners leading to anxiety, depression, and even suicide. Sadly, we lost two of our own to suicide last spring. The experience was heartbreaking and traumatic for the entire UH community. We immediately took measures and further strengthened our efforts by initiating a $38 million plan, which included renovation of Agnes Arnold, creating a culture of care, and enhancing our medical services. Our aim is to build a resilient campus that focuses on not just treatment, but also support, and most importantly, prevention. At times, it feels like an uphill battle and you may feel that your individual efforts do not matter. I would like to assure you that what you do matters. It matters deeply to those touched by you. Let me share with you the contents of a letter I received from a mother in Colombia, telling me how her daughter had lost all hope and was harboring suicidal thoughts when a member of the catering team found her crying bitterly, and she was crying in a bathroom. This member, as the mother said, kept a vigil on her daughter and gave her company until she was in professional hands. She continued to keep in touch with her for the rest of her time at UH. This mother concluded her letter by saying, because of your staff, my daughter has graduated and is with me today. My daughter would not be alive if it were not for your staff member, Miss Evelyn. Evelyn works. <laughs> Evelyn works for UH through a third party vendor, and yet her passion and commitment for her students is exemplary. She is proof of the power of compassion and how each one of us has a role to play. May I ask Evelyn to please stand?